Hello there, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a 6x4 tunnel card to share with you. Really lovely little card. I've used the elements from the Seasons paper. Um, it's sized so that it fits Graphic 45's uh, cutouts and ephemera cards and folds flat to go into a standard sized 6x4 card envelope. And if I bring it up close, you can see the dimension in the card. There's not an awful lot um, of cutting out, just a few little bits and pieces. So follow along, cut out your pieces, and then I'll show you how to put the card together. So first of all, you want to take your cardstock and one of the six by four cardstock pieces and one of the, the one that is slightly less at three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. And you're going to stick them, just use tacky glue to stick your cut papers. So the papers are slightly smaller than the card to the front of the cardstock. And you're going to keep one set behind to fit into the card later. So I'm just putting the glue all the way over the paper and centre it and stick it down. And then choose a die. I've gone for an oval die, but you could use any die to give you that um, tunnel through the middle of the card and take a little bit of low tack tape and die cut your shape out of your two paper covered cardstock pieces. You just want to bear in mind um, we're going to put them onto a piece of card that's folded at half an inch intervals so um, you don't want your die to be too close to the edge otherwise you will see the edge of the side piece. So I'm going to come down about three quarters of an inch from the top of my card and just put a little bit of tape on there. And now I'm going to run both of those through my big shot and I'll be right back. So here they are all die cut. Then you just want to take the one that is three and seven eighths wide and that's our middle piece. And the other one put to one side, that's our front piece. Then bring in your side concertina cardstock sections, lay them down in front of you, and on the inside edges, you put a strip of tape, count across one, two, three sections, and put a strip of tape, and then put one strip of tape on the underside of that end flap. That's going to be the front of our card or where the front piece goes on. Then bring in your other last piece of cardstock and that's going to be the back of our card. So I'm going to pop it down on the table, take your double-sided tape off one of these inside sections 
and you might want to put a little bit of tacky glue on that just in case it goes down in the wrong place. Let's just smooth that over. At least we've got some jiggle time then. And then you want to take your cardstock and line it up with the top and bottom edge of your concertina section. Just inside the crease mark. And when you're happy with where it's sitting, that's why I say it, add a little bit of tacky glue and then you can jiggle that around. Then press it down and then do the same for the other side. So a little bit of tacky glue on there. I think everything's looking a bit green, isn't it? <laughs> so I've gone for green cardstock to go with the autumn feel of this card, and I went for red cardstock to go with the Christmas feel on the Christmas card, or the winter card. So that's it, the centre is in place. Then you want to take from your pile of cut pieces the seasons cut apart and that's just going to sit right in the middle of that back section. So ink your edges either with um, an ink applicator or if you like to use a distress pen have the wrong side facing you and just with the, the thicker brush tip just go all the way around the edges to get rid of that white core and then with the stamp top left and a little bit of glue just a tiny trail or you could use tape if you wanted to smooth it out and center it up and stick it down and then we'll be able to see that cream section through the windows of the card and then you can turn over and take your last piece of um, paper and that's going to fit nicely on the back to cover the joints so again take a little bit of glue or some double-sided tape go all the way around the edges don't forget the little bit in the middle. Let's just smooth it out. And stick it on down. Give it a nice press down. And then we can turn over. And now we're ready to stick the centre section in place. So fold up one side of the concertina side section, take off the backing strip, a little bit of glue on there. This one doesn't want to stay upright, it wants to fold outwards. And then you want to take the smaller section, so just check that that's the one that you're picking up, it's the three and seven eighths wide one and stick it in place lining up the top and bottom edge and come just inside that crease mark press it down and then do the same on the other side if you cut your pieces the same size so all four inches wide when you put the middle section in it bows the card so if you cut this middle section slightly smaller then you'll end up with a flatter a flatter card and then bring this one up just inside the crease mark and stick it in place and then you can always press it down flat to press the card down onto the tacky glue so that's layer one and then we can layer the top section on. Now at this stage we want to add the middle pretty. You can go and add the top section and then come back and add the middle but it's probably easier to do it now. So it wants to sit towards the top of the card and before I stuck it down I've just 
curled it slightly, really easy to curl it, and then I've curled it that way, and it's this bit that we're going to stick in place. This side can stay shaped, but it's not going to be stuck so that when you fold your card up, it goes flat. So just a little glue on that side. Spread it out. A little bit on that bottom, very bottom little cutout. And that's just going to sit and catch on the left hand side. At, at an angle. Yeah, at an angle. And then let's just see what that looks like. Yeah, that'll be fine. Ooh, that one doesn't want to stick down. A little bit more glue under there. Pinch it down. And then if you want to curl that side, you can. It will stay in place once the card's assembled. And then I have to do the same with the front. Oh, it still doesn't want to stick down. Let's just press it like that. And then we need to do the same to add the front piece. As we did for the middle piece. So take the tape off one side. Put my glasses on. A little bit of glue just on the tape and smooth it on out. Just keep it away from the outside edge and then take your frame. Make sure that you've got it the right way up so the deeper section to the bottom and then just line it up with the top of the card so that it sits. I'm just going to twist the card slightly so I can see where it's sitting. So you want to line it up with the top and then just pinch all the way along to secure it in place. And the same on this side. A little bit of glue. The first card I made, I didn't put any glue on the tape. Oh, my God, it's such a mess. It really is a great help. <laughs> Just to be able to lift the tape up and jiggle it around. Uh, lift the front piece up and jiggle it around. So then just line up your last edge. And pinch it in place. And that is the card structure. And then we're ready to add the detail to the front. So what I've done is mounted the stamp and that panel and the colour, that was the one I chose, on the same green cardstock and just cut them out using my perfect layer ruler with the 1 16th of an inch edge. So the stamp is just going to sit up. I think I'm going to put it in this top corner because we want to be able to see the detail in the other top corner. So a little bit of glue on the back of the stamp and just stick it in place at the top like that. And then flip the whole thing over and th uh, this one just sits on the back. Now for that I'm going to put some double sided tape on it. Just a strip down either side. You could use a tape runner if you wanted to. Just so that it sticks down straight and flat first time. She says. Take the backings off. So two strips of tape down either side. And I'm just going to lift it up and follow one of the lines in the paper and stick it in place on the back like that and then flip back to the front 
And then we've got this one inch panel piece and that's going to sit across the bottom so that when it closes, it lines up with the edge of the paper. So on the back of this, I've also put a strip of double sided tape on either tab. But before I put that in place, I'm going to just put the detail onto the front panel. So we've got the pumpkins to come up this side. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the very bottom edge. So I'm not using any foam tape on this card at all, or foam pads. It's all just layers, but layers that can be pressed down completely flat so that you can post the card. And then the feathers, I'm actually going to stick them up the side like that on the card. Love the feathers. So again, a little bit of glue. Use my spready finger to spread it out. And then I'm just going to come in so that it all needs to sit within that six by four frame. And again, you can press it down to stick that in place. And then we've got the birdie. And the birdie, I was going to just stick on here as well, so that we've got some dimension. I don't know, I don't know where to stick him. Maybe down here. Let's just pop that one there. And the bird. I don't know, maybe I don't put the bird on. Maybe we just do that. Yeah. So this one is just going to sit down here in the middle. It's a real shame to cover up the sunflower, but we've got other sunflowers. So I'm just going to put a tape strip across the bottom and the top edge of this little banner. like that. Take the backings off. And stick it in place. I am going to put it in the centre and line it up with the bottom. Then flip this piece over, take your two little strips off. Bring the card in and with this one side closed I'm going to flatten the card down and just line it up with the bottom of the paper and the side edge and then do the same on this side with it closed. Let's turn it right round. Like that. So that that actually pops up. And that is our little tunnel card finished. So I hope you've enjoyed that quick share. Have fun if you make one yourself and um, don't forget to bling it up with a little bit of glitter and sparkle. Um, and give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel to be kept up to date with more projects as they come out. Thanks for watching.